everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Christian and this is CXC Beauty. On today's video, we are doing a little review. I picked up some Lunar Beauty products, so I got the Moon Spell palette. And I also picked up one of the highlighters. Now, I went to two different stores. I went to Sephora and picked this palette up and they were pretty much almost all sold out. I think they had like one other one of this and two of the strawberry ones and they didn't have any other Manny stuff. So then I went to the Morphe store to pick this up and literally Morphe had almost nothing either. I don't know why they're so out of stock of this stuff, but it was a little hard to find. This was the last highlighter in the shade Venus. But I'm gonna review these for you today. I wanna do like beauty boy makeup brands and all that stuff on my channel. So I figured to start with Manny. But before we get into the review, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and give this video a big thumbs up. We'd greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at this beautiful palette because this packaging is definitely on point. Manny did an amazing job on this packaging. Just look at it. It looks like a little spell book. It's gorgeous. It slides out like this. I already removed the little plastic from the mirror and the plastic insert, but this is the palette. I know this is not a new palette, but it's new for me and I've never tried anything from Lunar Beauty. So this is gonna be my first impressions. And there's a lot of beautiful shimmer shades that I see in there. And then mattes of all different colors which I love. I love purples and these greens are beautiful. And then there's also some neutral shades, which is really nice. And then we have this highlighter, which is in the shade Venus. These are called the, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, these are called Moon Prism Powders and this is in the shade Venus. And I love that this packaging kind of like slips out. Oh, of course it says the name of it right there. If you look at this highlighter inside, if I could get it out of the packaging. <laughs> oh my God. It's like really stuck in there. Oh my God. Okay. It's a beautiful like opalescent, gorgeous packaging. It's nice and weighted. It is very beautiful. And then the shade I got was Venus, which is like a more goldy tone. So that's gorgeous. I can't wait to put this on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna dive right into this palette. I have already done my face makeup. I don't have any primer on my eyes because you know, I don't really use primer on my eyes. I just put the uh, leftover foundation there and that's usually enough for me. So I'm just gonna dig right in. I think I wanna do something more neutral today with like a pop of color on the lid. So I'm gonna dive right into this first shade called Winifred. And I'm taking that on a precision blending brush from CXC Beauty. So, so far this is applying amazingly. Um, these are very pigmented. So I did go pretty light when I tapped in the pan. Nothing worrisome. They are blending out really nicely. Now I'm gonna go in with a fluffier blending brush. This is a Morphe one, M441. And it's just a clean brush and I'm gonna start blending out this shade even more. Now I'm gonna jump into this shade right here called Sarah. And this is more of a gray tone, taupey color. And I'm gonna put that deeper into the crease just to start um, building some definition in there. I do have to say, I absolutely love the mirror in this palette. It's so big and nice. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of Kiki, which is this chocolatey brown shade right here. Um, it's slightly, I would say, cooler tone than Winifred and a little deeper of a brown. And I'm just concentrating that on the outer V. I'm not bringing that one into the crease that much. And then again, blending that with the fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. And I'm just using the ColourPop concealer that I always use to cut the crease.
Okay, so I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Samantha. That looks super gorgeous. And it looks like a more, I'm gonna swatch it really quick. It's like a bronzy, it's like a bronzy brown warm shade. And it's super reflective, so I'm gonna go into that shade first. And I'm gonna take that on a tiny little brush. This is a Morphe M124. And I'm gonna start pressing that into the more center part of the cut crease. Now I'm gonna hop into this shade right here called Hermione. And I'm gonna use the same brush. And then this shade seems to be pressed a little bit harder but it is applying nicely and I'm taking this a little bit closer into the inner corner. And this is an interesting shade. It's almost like a yellowy brown with all different kinds of reflex in it. It's very pretty. Has some gold in there as well. Okay, now I'm gonna take this shade right here which is a purple and it's called Phoebe. I also love how this is named after so many iconic witches. Each shade is named after like some of my favorite witches from some of my favorite TV shows and movies, which is super cool. Oh, this purple is beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here called Prue, and it almost looks like a baby blue kind of reflex. I'm still using the same brush, and I'm placing that onto my inner corner, on top of that purple shade. Okie dokie, hopping back into the mats, I'm gonna take this one, which is Paige, and it's uh, more like purpley, like, I don't know, what kind of purple you'd describe that? It's like fuchsia pink. It's like a fuchsia pink purple, and I'm gonna take that on this little tiny Morphe brush, which is an M326. This was part of the Rainbow Collection, which I actually don't like these brushes, but I still use them for some reason. <laughs> and I'm gonna start putting that onto my lower lash line. I'm also gonna take some of this deeper purple called Sabrina, same brush, and I'm gonna concentrate this color more on the outer edge. And then with a clean pencil brush, I'm gonna go in and diffuse that color slightly. And since I didn't really get to use this shade right here, this shimmer is called Fiona, and it's like a greenish, bluish shade. I'm gonna take this and just put it on the center of the lower lash line. I don't know, it gives like an interesting different look to the I look. And for today's liner, I want to do something a little bit more smoked out, so I'm going to take the CXC Beauty Ultra Black Liner, which is a liner pencil, and I'm going to rub some onto the back of my hand, just so I can pick it up with a brush. Then I'm going to go into my little uh, MAC brush. I don't know what it's called, like the plastic, or the covering has been peeling off. Um, and I've had this brush for her, but it's MAC's little liner brush. And I'm just going to make a really soft wing. And I'm actually gonna hop into a CXC Beauty eyeshadow palette and use the shade Secrets, which is our black shade, with a little angle brush like this, and I'm gonna diffuse this liner slightly. And just make it really smoky. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly put on some mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my lashes and my mascara. Okay, so for blush today, I'm gonna go into my Sephora Pro Face Palette. And, which blush brush do I want? I'm gonna use my little Dragon Fire brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna mix both the matte shades, so Flossy and Beso. And I'm gonna start building that onto my cheekbones. Okie dokie, now I'm super excited to try this highlighter. 
like I said, this is the Moon Prism Powder in the shade Venus. It's so gorgeous. It's like a champagne gold, so beautiful. Let's see how it looks on the face. I'm gonna use this little highlighting brush from Anastasia. And I'm tapping into the pan. She's beautiful. And like it says on the packaging, it is very buildable. Like when I first went on with the first swipe, it was like a subtle glow. And then once you put the second swipe on, it's like, bam, like all in your face. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna jump into my lips really quickly. I'm gonna take my little House Labs um, lip liner. These are the Rip Lip Liners. And this one's in the shade Myth. And I'm just filling my lips in with this shade. And then I'm gonna go over that with a clear gloss. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. Okay guys, so this is a completed look. Now let's dive into what I thought about the palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's really nice. The mattes are really great. They blend well together. Now I didn't use all of the mattes. I used most of them and I didn't use this shimmer right here but from what I did use, the palette performed really nicely. Some of these shades, I, I'm curious to see how they would work with the finger on the eye. Maybe you, you would get a more intense payoff, but they do work well with the brush. I did have to go and tap in a couple times to get like full payoff, but they do work. Um, so I might use it again and use like the more colorful shades, but I do love it and I love the look that I created with it. My favorite out of the two things is of course this highlighter. It's just so beautiful. I love how you can get a subtle highlight or an intense highlight. I bet you if you wet this, it would be even more intense if you're into that kind of thing. But this is definitely a winner for me. And guys, that's my overall thoughts about this palette. I loved pretty much everything was great. Um, great brand overall, great packaging. Everything was really nice, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and first impressions, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!